everybody, Jay Heilman from today's Christian Entertainment here. And I was just thinking about this the other day and can't believe how fast time flies by. Uh, 10 years ago this week, we visited the set of the Sherwood Pictures and Kendrick Brothers film Courageous. And I wanted to come on here and share some highlights from that trip up there along with some video that we took on set. Uh, we were up there from uh, June 7th through the 9th, 2010. And a friend of mine, Greg Clifton, went with me on that trip. And uh, we went up to Albany for three days. We spent time on the set uh, along with Sherwood Baptist Church and got to see a lot of places that former movies like Fireproof and Facing the Giants were filmed as well. And uh, it was just an incredible experience. And uh, the first day we got up there, um, we basically went and ate at a barbecue restaurant that was kind of right across the street from the hotel that we were staying at. Um, you actually see the barbecue restaurant in a shot in the film, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but these videos here that I'm going to show you were actually just kind of videos of uh, me doing interviews in the lobby of the hotel we were staying in. And uh, we got a chance to interview Stephen Kendrick and uh, Pastor Michael Catt um, of Sherwood Baptist Church for this particular uh, interview set. So these uh, scenes that are kind of playing in the background right here, uh, this was in the hotel lobby. And uh, it was really exciting to be able to finally meet um, Stephen and Alex and uh, be able to meet uh, Pastor Michael, um, who we had seen, you know, through Facing the Giants and Fireproof years before that. So uh, the first day we went, uh, when we went and ate dinner that night, it was actually pretty cool because we ate dinner with um, Jim McBride, who plays the opposing team's coach in Facing the Giants, the guy that always has the red lollipop in his mouth. Um, super nice, totally opposite of the character he played in Facing the Giants, but um, he was the executive producer or producer on Courageous, so we got a chance to eat dinner with him. And one of the questions I asked him was, you know, what, what was it like being on the movie set? Because we had just gotten there and we hadn't really seen any filming being done yet. So uh, when, we, when I asked him, I said, what's, what's it like being on a movie set and filming? And he said, it's a lot like being in the military. There's a lot of hurry up and waiting. So I didn't understand that then. I understand that now, but I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, while we were eating dinner, we also noticed um, a familiar family had walked in as well that were also visiting the set. Uh, the same three days we were up there, the Duggar family from 19 Kids and Counting. And um, we later found out that they were also filming while they were there. So a lot of the scenes that were in the movie and that we actually had filmed while we were up there uh, are, sh are actually in uh, the show that the Duggars did as well, uh, which you'll see footage on here too. Um, pretty cool. I got a chance to, uh, to meet uh, Jim Bob Duggar and all of his kids that were there. Um, his wife was not there and uh, I think two or three of his kids, but the rest of them were there. So it was pretty cool. So the second day of filming, we had to get up super early. I think we had to get up at like 5 a.m. and be on the bus to go to the first set um, at about 6 a.m. And uh, that was at Sherwood Baptist Church. We actually went there to film an exterior shot with the second unit. Um, and it was shots of all of us walking into a church uh, with Bibles and stuff. And then uh, for the second scene, we actually went into uh, the youth room of the church and we filmed a funeral scene. And the thing about this was, is that when I got back from the trip, I wasn't able to tell anybody what, who the funeral was for because it would have given the movie away. And it was kind of tough being uh, there filming that and having to wait a year to really talk about a lot of the experiences that we had up there. So you'll notice in this, uh, this scene here, um, taken from the Duggar show of the funeral shots that we did. Uh, and we did that, I think that shot took about two and a half hours. And the, the thing is when you see the final movie, um, there's a lot of sound and video that was actually not a part of the filming. Um, it was actually all done in post-production. Like um, when we were filming it, we could actually hear uh, the audio through a speaker. So we knew what was going on during the scene. So it was pretty cool seeing that. And then once we did that, we actually went kind of behind the scenes um, and sat in their choir room and saw finished scenes from the movie that they had already filmed. Um, it, it, that was really cool, being able to see stuff that they had filmed the week prior to us getting there. So we got, actually got to see finished scenes um, that they had already put together and edited uh, that would later be in the movie. So that was really cool. So once we were done with that, we ate lunch uh, with the, you know, with, with folks, other visiting media 
uh, at Sherwood Baptist Church. And then we went down to a street in Albany. It's a really long street, very beautiful, had um, trees and stuff kind of canopied over both sides of the road. Um, it was very hot that day. I do remember it being really hot and those trees actually made it a lot better. Uh, but that was the 5K scene you see at the end of the movie. Um, that was actually a four and a half hour scene uh, to film. We probably did, I wanna say Alex said we did probably 20 takes on that scene. Um, so it was actually uh, the 5K scene. The 5K, I think uh, all the running we did that day, we probably ran uh, the 5K for real, uh, but it was fun. Um, that whole day, I was actually positioned right up front with Alex Kendrick. Uh, the Duggars were all, all the Duggar kids were in front of me. Josh Duggar, the oldest, uh, was next to me. So I got a chance to talk to him throughout the day. And uh, it was a really cool scene. And, you know, looking at these shots from uh, 19 Kids and Counting, you'll see these shots of us going running back and forth, um, which it may look tiring but i was actually really excited for it uh, we got a lot of video and pictures from that but the funniest thing about the scene was is i don't remember what time it was um and this was kind of a joke on the set the following day because uh, we, were, we were kind of the butt of people's jokes but um when we were finishing up the 5k scene about an hour before they finished wrapping up that scene they had gathered all the media and people that are, were visiting the set and took them back to Sherwood Baptist Church to change, um, you know, the hotel, get ready, take showers for dinner. Well, we missed that because we were up front uh, with Alex uh, Kendrick while we were filming. So I didn't even notice that everybody else had left. And so when we were done with the scene, I'm looking around and I'm telling Greg, I said, I don't see anybody, any media and people that were here, uh, what's going on? Well, come to find out the bus had left without us and went back to the hotel and to the church. So we actually uh, rode back to Sherwood Baptist Church with Jason McLeod, who plays in the, the motivational, famous uh, death crawl scene facing a giant. He's the one that is crawling on the ground with the player on his back. We rode with him back to Sherwood Baptist Church and uh, he actually took us by a couple other locations on the way. Uh, took us by the car, the car dealership from Flywheel um, another building that was used in fireproof. So it was pretty cool. We got a chance to kind of take like a little detour there, but that was a lot of fun. So that was the wrap of the second day. We ate dinner and of course uh, we had been up pretty late. So we went back to the hotel and called it a night. That we were there was more relaxed. Uh, we went to a bank in Albany, Georgia uh, that had like a big empty lot. Um, the bank actually allowed the production crew to use the, some of the rooms uh, for like makeup and costumes and all that kind of stuff. And we filmed the scene where you see Kevin Downs and Alex Kendrick along with Alex's daughter in the film uh, sitting in the back of the truck. And um, it was kind of like almost to the climax of the film. And you see that part and we, we actually sat there and instead of being a part of the scene, we actually were standing right behind the cameras as they were filming. So I saw that whole scene play out. And you'll see a video here of Alex Kendrick actually driving the car back and forth and I walk up to him and ask him um, if he's a professional stunt driver so it's pretty cool there but uh, just that whole day was was awesome we had a lot of fun um, they actually used our rental car in that scene of the film too so that was pretty cool one of the other things we had to do before uh, we went to the bank set on the third day while we were up there was um, we took like a charter bus tour of Albany got a chance to see um, Sherwood Baptist Church along with the school uh, the football field that Facing a Giants was filmed on and uh, you'll actually see you actually see if you watch the movie Overcomer you'll see that uh, field again the field they used for Overcomer was also in Albany um, at uh, the Sherwood Christian Academy there um, but we got a chance to ride the charter bus around Albany Jim McBride uh, was actually the host he actually uh, was the tour guide he showed us around town and one of the things that these films allowed them to do was profit from these films went back into the community of Albany, Georgia for community projects to help churches, uh, to help community programs and stuff. And they actually used some of the money to erect this huge aluminum cross at a park uh, in Albany. And the cross was massive. It was probably a hundred feet or more high. So it was really cool to see uh, just 
you know, not only the impact that these films had made, but the fact that they were using money uh, from the profits from these films to put back into the community in which they were filming. So I thought that was pretty cool. And you'll see that here in these videos of this tour that we had taken, along with pictures that we had taken from that tour. But just the, the, to the, the total experience of being able to visit a movie set, um, when I got home, there was a couple things that I really took away from that. Number one, um, as a father, it really um, helped me uh, realize just how important the role of a father is in the home. And that's really what Courageous was about. It was about, um, you know, being being the leader in your house, putting God first. Joshua twenty four fifteen says, as for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord. And that's really what that movie was about. And it was just it was just a pleasure and an honor being able to be there and to be able to see this film being uh, filmed. And I, I have a much higher respect for filmmakers now because I didn't realize just how much goes into the filming process of a movie. And um, you see the behind the scenes stuff on Blu-rays and DVDs now, and you're like, oh, that's cool. You can like, go behind the scenes and see what they're doing for the film. But when you're actually there, um, it's actually a more tedious and more long and drawn out process. So I have a, a deeper appreciation. I really appreciate the Kendrick Brothers and Sherwood Baptist Church for having us up there. And I hope you enjoy this video. It was really cool. Uh, to go back and reflect on this 10 years later. And uh, if you haven't seen Courageous, go check it out. It's on all uh, video on demand platforms. You can get it at Walmart, uh, Amazon, all that kind of good stuff. So enjoy it.